you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy gospel by wisdom ministries november 16th monday let's begin this day with the blessings of god a reading from the holy gospel according to saint luke chapter 18 verses 35 to 43 as he approached jericho a blind man was sitting by the roadside begging when he heard a crowd going by he asked what was happening they told him jesus of nazareth is passing by then he shouted jesus son of david have mercy on me those who were in front sternly ordered him to be quiet but he shouted even more loudly son of david have mercy on me jesus stood still and ordered the man to be brought to him and when he came near he asked him what do you want me to do for you he said lord let me see again jesus said to him receive your sight your faith has saved you immediately he regained his sight and followed him glorifying god and all the people when they saw it praised god the gospel of the lord praise you lord jesus christ my dear friends in the mark the story is uh, strategically placed at the end of a long teaching section where jesus disciples are slowly deepening their understanding of jesus and his mission in luke the story has also a very significant positioning it falls between the two other stories both about rich people one was a highly religious man who was not able to accept jesus condition that he shared with his wealth with a, a poor before coming becoming a disciple the other is about a man who supposed was anything but religious and yet after meeting jesus gives away a large portion of his wealth to the poor which of these was really blind the first story of rich man is followed by the third prediction of jesus suffering death and the resurrection after which jesus says look the disciples did not understand what jesus was taking talking about they failed to comprehend what he was saying they too are blind we are told that jesus was approaching jericho uh, an ancient city located about 8 kilometers west of the river jordan and uh, about 25 kilometers northeast of jerusalem in jesus time jericho the old testament was uh, largely abandoned but a new city south of the old one it was uh, the last main stop for jesus before arriving in jerusalem the story begins with uh, a blind man sitting beside the road by king as we have mentioned before the road is the way to jerusalem on which all of jesus disciples must walk together with him when the beggar hears that jesus is passing by he begins to call out in a loud voice jesus son of david have mercy on me have compassion on me by addressing jesus as son of david he implies jesus role as messiah king the people tell him about to keep uh, to keep quiet a useless beggar like him has no right disturbing the master but the man ignores them and keeps crying out now jesus stops if the man had not kept calling out jesus might not have heard him and might have passed forever out of his life jesus orders the man to be brought to him again it is always through the other people that we come to know jesus and sometimes it will be be through me and only through me that others will come to know him what do you want me to do for you <coughs> jesus asks it is a question that he keeps asking me how do i answer have my answer changed over the years today let me reflect what i really want from him and ask him for it jesus immediate response receive your sight your faith has made you well 
has healed and made you whole. If only we too had the faith that would help us to see clearly. And what did the man do when he would see? He became a follower of Jesus and gave glory to God. No longer blind, no longer a beka, no longer by the road, but on the road with Jesus, on the road. And Jesus is the road, the way to Jerusalem and all that means. This is the natural response for those who can really see. Just because, just before this, the rich man who wanted eternal life was not able to see and so could not accept Jesus' invitation. But tomorrow, we will meet someone who did have his eyes opened and responded generously. The story also applies to Jesus' disciples who gradually will have their eyes opened too and then they will understand why Jesus had to suffer and die on his way to glory. They will understand that it was the uttermost proof of God's love for each one of us. Amen. May God bless us.